Okay, so just after sharing that video on G Plus, the Beyond Meat, we decided to head down to our local co op and look what we found. So the, the burgers are out. They also had the ground beef and the chicken, but um, for now we decided to try two of these. There they are. Right. Yeah. They look like, you know, burgers to us. So we're going to give them a go. Uh, we won't be adding the bacon because, you know, obviously we're going to spoil it. Well, I'm not going to add the bacon for the first bite. Yeah. It's, we're just very curious about it, you know. Let's see what they look like. Yeah. Well, they're certainly colored correctly. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, they look like burgers. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. They feel different, but... They do mm, look like burgers. Really. Well, that's the, the frozen, the, the ice in them as well. Smell like barbecue sauce. Do they? They do. A little bit, yeah. So probably a lot healthier for us. Trans fat, saturated fat, two grams. A lot of salt. My entire objection to to, uh, to vegetarian patties is that they just don't taste like meat. Yeah. So I mean, if these do, I mean, if these don't have any of the qualities that actually make a vegetarian, you know, patty. You know, all the thick grains and obvious vegetables and everything. Yeah. Six to eight minutes to cook it, supposedly. <clears throat> Six to eight minutes each side. Stove top. Cook frozen patty in skillet with touch of oil on both sides until lightly brown, about six to eight minutes. Okay. They sound like burgers. Don't microwave. Okay. Well, that's lucky since I kicked the microwave out of our house years ago. Well, it's just that on uh, frozen burgers as well, isn't it? Unless you no, take no, microwave ones. Huh. No, it doesn't. Right. Maybe it affects the proteins or something. It sounds like burgers. I don't smell anything yet. Well, I've turned it down to a little full of medium. I don't want to overcook it real fast. Yeah. They're frozen. There are spices, mesquite powder, sugar, pomegranate seed powder, natural hickory smoke. The sunflower oil may, can, may contain the palm oil, safflower oil, flax seed oil, that's where the fat's coming from. Yeah. Onion extract, there's, there's a spice. Yeah. Garlic extract, so yeah, flavored. Put no meat. Good. Uh, 
They're not sticking. They're falling. Yeah. I mean, if you didn't know better, they, they look like two beef burgers flying away, you know? So far. Yeah. A little drier, but not much. And that smell, it, it's not as strong, but it's definitely a very meaty and very pleasant smell. It's very pleasant, yes. Yeah. And they don't seem to be shrinking like beef burgers. Not that uh, much. No, because a lot of a lot of the beef, a lot of what's in beef is fat. So mm -hmm. that's that's where we get the shrinkage from. Definitely have the scissors. Yeah. Yeah, look they at that. Feel, yeah, they feel warm in the middle, so they're done. Okay. Look at that. They fit the burger bun. That is very nice. Mm hmm. See if this is a, a real experience. Okay. Why don't you put yours together and try it? Oh, let's see. I'll take this one. Okay. <clears throat> they definitely, I mean, they smell like burgers. They don't smell very familiar, but they do smell meaty. And, meaty, yeah, yeah, they do smell meaty. And the little bits that I scraped off the pan smelled um, familiar. Yeah. I like my burgers with stuff. You like your burgers drowned in sauce. <laughs> I like my burgers drowned. I like lots and lots of different flavors in the yeah. But I'll keep an edge free. Let's see. I mean, they look just fine. Yep. Let's see. <clears throat> I'm 
try just edge first. Yeah, here we go. It does have a meaty taste. Yeah. And the texture is only slightly off. Yeah. It is definitely the closest to a a meat patty that I've yeah. ever had. It is definitely not vegetable-ish. Yeah. If you didn't know what it was, like if if somebody just handed you that, would you say, oh, this is an interesting burger? Would, would you suspect that it wasn't meat? I would suspect it wasn't meat, yeah. The texture is just, just, just barely off. Just barely. Barely. But is that just because you know about it? No, I'm wondering. No, there's a, um, there's a little bit of a gelatinous quality to it. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll try it there. Yeah. Let me just, um, make mine first. Do not if you like. All right. Let's see. Definitely looks like a, a nice. It burger. does. It looks like a burger should look. The taste is definitely very meaty. Yeah, it's just slightly off, but definitely not much. I mean, that. Yeah. I wouldn't turn it down, would no. you? No. I would happily replace regular beef burgers with, with these. Yeah, I could. If the price came down, I, I would yeah. replace most meat products with this. Yeah. We'll have to try the ground beef and we'll have to try the chicken. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no, that's really good. Mm. Yeah, I mean, that's... Yeah, that's pretty incredible. Hmm. I wouldn't have expected that. Well, there you have it, guys. Beast Burger appears to win favor. Good job, guys.